In another video, I showed you how to sequence the patterns on the FA06 to produce the drumming for your original songs. In this video, we focus on creating the patterns themselves. We have looked before at the sequencing of the patterns, but what we have not looked at is the creation of the patterns themselves. So if we go to the rhythm setup and we select the shift button, we can select pattern edit. And it plays and we can press stop to stop it at any point in time. Now, that's a pattern. We could have had any other pattern. We could have loaded any other pattern before proceeding to the pattern edit screen to change or edit one of the preset patterns and then store it in a pattern memory. But if we press the shift again, we see that it has initialize here. And when we press that, it says, Rhythm Pattern Initialize, are you sure? So we could actually initialize it to zero. Let's press OK. So it's clear the pattern entirely, as you can see. Now, we have here Setup, which allows us to set our time signature as well as the length of our pattern we have the measure length there the typical measure length for patterns is one two and three but i believe it can go to much longer should you desire to have a much longer pattern we can go up to 32 but most of the drumming patterns are typically only two or three bars long then we have the note setup, which allows us to set the note timing and the gate time and the velocity. We can have it as a fixed value or set it to real. And we can take the input from the keyboard or we can enter it directly in our pattern sequencer. Then we have the clear step, which, clo which clears the vertical position on the timeline, or we have the clear note, which clears the horizontal position. So this is very useful because the vertical one will clear all uh, percussion or drums on a specific beat, whereas the horizontal one will clear out a complete percussion instrument and give us a chance to do it over again. We have the scaling function which adjusts the resolution of our display. And finally we have the write function here which allows us to write it to one of our user memories. Notice you see it has user here and there's quite a few of them so you can create patterns to your heart's content. Okay, to enter your drums or percussion you can go using the cursor buttons to the particular spot that you want to put the instrument and you can press the enter key and when you do you see that it turns white and you've entered an instrument so now when you press play if you want to enter your keynotes or percussion instruments through the keyboard you have to go back 
to the note setup and come down here and turn the keyboard on. Okay, here's the part that you're really going to have a hard time figuring out with this pattern sequencer. If I press the lower half of the keyboard, I get my drum songs and as I said, the cursor moves up and as you can see the row there at the top of the screen is highlighted I come down a little bit but absolutely nothing is recorded whether it's whether the sequencer is running or stationary nothing is recorded but if I go now to the white keys only at the top of the keyboard then each white key corresponds to a position along the timeline so for example if I count down 16 white keys from the top of the keyboard and there it's, it's recorded the sound at that position and if I move it to three keys over it's gone over three keys and it's recorded the sound so this is sort of acting like the enter key to position the sound anywhere along that's the top key on the keyboard so now when I press play I would then select a different instrument and I would use a different key to put it somewhere else now when I press play the key mapping of the various percussion instruments to the individual keys of the keyboard is of course referred to as a kit just as it is in drum machines and you can in fact create your own and save it in another type of user memories but of course that's the subject of another video and once you have a pattern saved in the pattern memory you can of course play that pattern with whatever kit you wish of course getting a different sound with each kit a short looping pattern sequencer is of course a feature of all drum machines however it is incredible that this is built into the FAO 6 workstation along with the larger 16 track MIDI sequencer which can either be used in linear or looping mode where the number of measures is only constrained by available memory. Quite literally there is no other workstation at this price point that offers the features of the Roland FA06 and it is actually easier to learn and use than many of the more complex and expensive workstations around. Thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel. I look forward to bringing you many more videos and helping you to make music with your FA06.